All right, so we got the five most disturbing moments in Warhammer 40k lore. Let's go to the other man. Let's go. G'day, guys and gals. What's up, brother? Warhammer 40k isn't just grimdark. It has elements of comedy, romance, action, and horror. It can also horror. be really, really disturbing sometimes, graphically describing the most horrific deaths and agony. It's generally pretty hard for a book to give you goosebumps and a chill down your spine from just words on a page. Yeah, without visual, yeah. Warhammer does it all the time. Yeah. I've been disturbed by Warhammer more times than I've been laid, so at least more than zero times. So oh. I've decided to scrounge up five of the most spine-chilling <laughs> moments for your viewing pleasure. Before Let's go. Before we get started, <clears throat> this video is brought to you by Major Minis. Oh! It's brought to you by myself. Hey. Hey, hey, pay those Major bills, bro. He getting paid out here. Of heroic scale sci-fi miniatures. Oh, snap. This is his own thing. A tabletop army or a personal. So why he's promoters, I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for all the Warhammer yourselves. like the love. Lord, you know, shout out to everybody Lord, you know who's been loving the Warhammer videos. On, Again, I'm a newbie. I'm a new. Uh, I'm a new booty. So I'm kind of new to the series, but I'm definitely enjoying my stay, man. Shout out to all you guys for supporting us about that. More videos coming soon. More videos coming today. I only got two videos coming today. Don't you worry, Zeno fans, boys and girls. Our ever expanding range now includes the King Orc. He's talking about the ad, that's why I'm talking right now. York Demon Killer. First of all, why, why are we talking about the ad, man? How is everybody? Are you guys doing Raptors, good? You guys doing all right? I'm doing good, 10, you know. As well as the Warriors, nice Saturday. Be done in a pack of three Thought I could give you guys some videos today. And, more and um, all right, let's go right to it. I think, I think he's uh, closing the ad right now. only $10 or free if you spend more than $70, with the website taking nearly any currency. So there's literally no barrier to entry. Okay. Link is below. The major minis are the single best way to support the channel whilst getting some of value for yourself today we'll go over the five of the most bone here we go goosebump raising and penis goosebumps. moments in warhammer 40k oh let's get into it let's go oh my it's not often that a book will continually set up deep, interesting characters that are relatable and likable, only to have the book's main bad guy continually kill them in extremely vicious and horrifying ways. Okay. But that's what happened with the Black Pariah. The okay. Black Pariah was an especially sadistic blank that was fused with the demon by Erebus to become the ultimate assassin. It oh, could wow. shapeshift, regenerate from nearly any wound, had increased speed and strength, could eat people to take their forms, and if it tasted your blood, it could Yo. consume your soul. He's Eric believed that it could assassinate the Emperor, hence sent it out on this mission. During this mission, it killed a lot of characters in extremely brutal fashion. Wow. It pulled a psyche into a hellish realm, tormented her before eating her alive. It brutally killed a detective as he was praying to the Emperor for protection. It ate a beloved family man, then framed him for horrific crimes, causing his family to be persecuted. It literally killed like half the book's main characters, ripping the face off one of them and violently eating some of the other's soul. Oh, no, yeah, close the entire town, bro. Hey, 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 that man is a black... Bro, a black cold school threat, bro. Close the entire town, bro. Call Batman right now, bro. Mayday, mayday. We need him right now. This man, bro. Bro, keep this man five million miles away from humankind, bro. What? This is on his resume? Oh, nah, bro. This, bro, he got more kills than Scump. Like, this is crazy, bro. He's like 82 and 0. Like, wow. <laughs> ruthless it was that was disturbing it was how it violated its victims it intimately murdered them tasting their memories then taking on their form to then go back and kill their loved ones it defiled corpses and reveled in the horror of its victims it was a massive prick with each scene about it murdering someone always disturbing the shit out of me i was always waiting for them to be saved last minute for this character i'd grown to like to be the one to overcome the black pariah and escape wow. But no, pretty much every time they were mercilessly annihilated. Fortunately, the Black Pariah's death was pretty satisfying. Shot in the head, then set ablaze. But that yeah. was a small comfort for all the horror and death it inflicted. Oh, no, hey, at rage. least he's gone. That's all that matters. Just feel bad for the servants of chaos. <laughs> get rid of them. Most of them are dicks, and all of them get what they deserve eventually. But the word bearer's first journey into the Eye of Terror and then jumping into the warp without a Gellerfield, followed by their horrific return to their legion, was pretty fucking disturbing. Basically, Argul Tal and his chapter of the Serrated Sun agreed to follow a demon into the Eye of Terror to okay. uncover the primordial truth of chaos. They are shown numerous disturbing visions before eventually agreeing to turn off their Gellerfield at the behest of the demon with them. Demons then swarm the ship and violently murder the fuck out of all the word bearers on board. Bit of a shocked Pikachu face moment. However, after some time, the word bearers all awake totally intact. 
After they had been killed, each word bearer had then been possessed by a demon that brought them back to life. The demons weren't done fucking with them though. What? The ship was very damaged and low on supplies. The entire mortal crew was also viciously massacred. So the word bearers had to try and fix the ship and fly it back into real space. It took them months and since they had no food, they started cannibalizing the rotting corpses of the crew. Oh my goodness. when that goodness. was gone, they began cannibalizing each other. Most of the chapter died not because of the demon attack, but because they were eaten by their fellow Astartes. Wow. For Lorga and the rest of the word bearers, Argyll and his chapter had been gone for minutes. For Argyll, it had been months. It was so disturbing as Argyll performed this task out of loyalty to Lorga and duty to his legion, only to endure the most agonizing death followed by the most horrific few months of anyone's life. All wow. because demons are fucking assholes and could have just sent the primordial truth over email. Pretty much anything about Dang. the Empress children is disturbing, but these days they are True. mostly comically disturbing. However, during their fall to Slanesh and depravity, they were at their worst. But still, not as bad as the crew who suffered alongside them. There was a famous artist on board, Serena D'Angelis, who had felt the touch of Slanesh when she visited the corrupted Leia Temple alongside Fulgrim. She began attempting to paint the ultimate portrait of Fulgrim, but was super frustrated with her work. So she began mixing paints using her own piss, shit, blood, and cum. Exic stage, bro. Exic, bro. I can't even say it. Exic, exic, stage left right now, bro. Exic, bro, bro, bro. The door's right there, bro. I don't care if you're disappointed with the pain, bro. You're out of here. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Bro, I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna keep an eye. You're a woman, so I'm not gonna like you know do what do nothing to you, obviously. But I can't lie to you, bro. If there's like a if there's like a like a like a big bad big bad wolf out there, bro. I can't lie to you, bro. You're, you're gone. You're out of there, bro. It's going to be, bro, me and the crew, bro, we're going to have to literally force you out of here, bro. Bro, the door's right there. Leave. Leave. You mixed up what? You mixed up who, what, where, when? You mixed up what? Yo, I, I, yo, yeah, 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 yo. I didn't hear that right. She mixed up whom? She mixed up all the bodily fluids. Did she just mixed it up like, like she's some type of witch. Yo, that's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Uh, bro, so you, you're so unsatisfied with the pain that you had to mix your own bodily fluids to make it better. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's crazy. She would cut herself all over her body, but these weren't enough. So every once in a while, she would clean herself up a bit, go down to the ship's bar, seduce some lonely guy to bring back to her room, and then while initiating sex, she would slit their throat. Ah! She's a man eater. Yo, 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 this woman, yo, 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 this woman gotta go. That, that, yo, this woman gotta go. She's a man eater. Yo, she's gotta go. She's gotta go. I'm gonna be honest with you. She's gotta go. She over here cutting herself like Victor's ass. And then she over here, bro, oh, no, 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 no. She gotta go. She gotta go, bro. She gotta go. She's a cold red, bro. She's a cold red threat to humanity, bro. As a you know what? No, she's a cold red threat to men, bro. She's a man eater. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, 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 no. She's a bro. She's a no, 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 no. She gotta go. She got to go. She got to go. She's done. And then use their blood and corpse to continue the painting. It was a very disturbing parallel to addiction. Is Sometimes she okay? She would become lucid and horrified with herself, but the desire to continue the painting was too strong. When her close friend and the man she truly loved came to check up on her, he was mortified about the state of her room, herself, and the smell. Man. He wanted to help her, but she started crying and screaming for him to leave as her inner demons were telling her to kill him and use his blood for the painting. What? Eventually, she's able to overcome her addiction through through Will and the love she has for a friend. What? She runs to his room to unite with him, only to find him dead, impaled by a sword into the statue he was working on. What? This completely breaks her, as she then oh my goodness. her dead friend before impaling herself on the same sword, what? joining her love in death. Oh Despite no, she's crazy. Despite the outlandishness of Warhammer 40k, she's you crazy. Really feel the disturbing similarity she's this crazy. has to real life addiction, and I was creeped out the entire time I read through this. She's crazy. Watching a talented, smart, beautiful woman full of life. Talented to smart bro why you compliment bro she's a crazy person bro she gets no compliments with me bro she's the opposite of all those things no no no
no. She's done. She, no, 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 bro, bro. She's cuckoo for buku buffs. Bro, bro, bro. She's the opposite of every single thing that you just said, bro. Talking about some talented, smart, beautiful. Nah, nah, the opposite of those, bro. Call it opposite day, because she's the opposite. The I can't lie to you. That's crazy work. Child. Continuing the theme. How dare you give her a compliment? Because, as I said, they are all fucking yuck. We now have the moment where the captains of the Empress' children tied Fulgrim down and sexually tortured the shit out of him, while Fulgrim then proceeded to have massive orgasms. I shit you not, this actually happened. For context, Fulgrim had been possessed by a demon after his killing of Ferris Manus, and his demeanor had changed a lot. A few of his sons, notably Fabius Byrle, Lucius, and the first captain of the Legion, grew suspicious and did some investigating. They discovered that Fulgrim had indeed been possessed. Huh? This was unacceptable. They would not allow a demon to possess their father, hence they ambushed Fulgrim and knocked him out. They then stripped him naked and tied him down in Fabius's lab before proceeding to cock and bull torture the sh Oh my goodness gracious lord. Oh my god, have mercy. Have mercy, bro. Bro, who put this in a book? Who put this in a book? Yo, 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 who put this in a book, yo? Yo, who put this in a book? Whoever put this in a book, you're, bro, you're exterminated. I can't lie to you, bro. Bro, bro, you'll never work for, <laughs> you'll never work for Warhammer again. I promise. Yeah, yeah, yo, yo. I promise you, you'll never work for Warhammer again, bro. This is crazy. Shit out of this is crazy. To try remove the demon. The gross thing is that Fulgrim actually loved it and what? was actually possessed when they were doing it. He would continually what? come as they literally oh! the medieval oh! passes up his asshole. Oh! And four Astartes were simultaneously going at it on Fulgrim. Oh, no, 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 yo, yo, this is nasty. Yeah, 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 yo, yeah, yo, yo, oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. What did he just say? Oh my goodness gracious! This is this is ludicrous, bro. And I'm not talking about the rapper. This is crazy. It was, bro. I, bro, I'm so discombobulated right now, bro. It, bro, is my mic working? Yeah, my mic's on. Oh my goodness gracious! This is already so disturbing. But the thing is, Fulgrim could have ended the torture session whenever he wanted, but instead enjoyed it for a while before then just getting up off the torture table. However, by far the most fucked thing out of all of this is that Space Marines see their Primarch as a father, and Primarchs see their Space Marines as sons. So it was a bunch of sons torture raping their father who was loving it. Oh Overall, my no goodness gracious. Advantage. No disturbing list would be complete without the Demoncula Bar, an efficient method of recruitment that the Iron Warriors developed, which basically involved kidnapping women, pumping them full of warp growth hormone until they were the size of the house, then they would shove kids and gene seed up the women's orifices. Then after a certain amount of time, a space marine would tear its way out of the screaming woman who would then be stitched back together and forced to endure the same process over and over. What? Jesus. No, this is crazy. No, no, hey, 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 I'm gonna hey, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yo, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you. This is absolute diabolical. I gotta take a breathe. That was too evil for me. I had to get a drink. I had to get a drink. That was too evil for me. That was too evil for me. I was getting Christ. To make matters even worse, the space rings that came out of the Demoncula bar had no skin, with many being horribly deformed. Now sprinkling in a bit of tragedy, those misshapen, unfleshed were actually just like naive yet quite nice people, and they helped Uriel Ventress, an ultramarine captain, to destroy the Demoncula bar and end the nightmare. In return, Uriel actually got them off the world and to safety, but due to some unfortunate random warp spaghetti, the unfleshed were driven into a frenzy with only one surviving. Uriel is talking to the last remaining unfleshed, with orders from the This, this to video is crazy. Down. But Uriel doesn't want to just kill the distraught unfleshed. He tells the unfleshed that he is a good man and that the Emperor loves him before showing him a shining necklace of the Imperial Aquila. The unfleshed smiles and says the Emperor does love me as the necklace reflected an image of a handsome young boy, the visage the unfleshed would have had if the Iron Warriors hadn't mutated him into this abomination. As the unfleshed looks at his perfect reflection with a smile on his face, Uriel shoots him in the head. So there you go, a bit of tragedy thrown in with some disturbing lore. Now for an honorable mention, since I did mention this moment There's honorable mentions? horrifying moments video, which I recommend to watch after this one if you're enjoying this video. We'll watch it's it if y'all want, bro. Want to take just like the video. Spots. We'll watch Constantine it. Constantine Valdor is a paragon of loyalty, martial prowess, and That will. haircut but is nasty. But in those 10,000 years since that the haircut is nasty. a vegetabilized galactic battery, his mental health took a hit. He went on to create a pocket dimension full of cloned blanks, winged blood angels, and other wacky overpowered shit. The disturbing part comes in with the cloned blanks. See, they aren't just blanks, they are modified. 
When the cloned blanks complete their training, they then have these strange warp spiders put down their throat. These spiders will stay there and grant their blank increased power, including the ability to create a magic death ball that can be sent to go out and fuck shit up. A side effect was the way these blanks now spoke. Since they had a spider in their throat, it was very subtly off, like there was a bit of metal in their throat, like a slight static in their speech. It triggered the uncanny valley effect as it sounded human, but just wasn't quite right. When one of these blanks fought against an emperor's children's psyker, the Astartes forcefully pulled the psyker out of the blank's throat in a very disgusting scene before crushing it. The really disturbing part is that when the protagonist of the books this happens in realizes that she was actually not far off having a spider put down her own throat. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. I fucking hate spiders and I live in Australia. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then pick up a major- This was crazy. Uh, uh, bro, th I'm gonna I'm be, I'm be completely honest with you. This is the most vile, disgusting Warhammer thing I've ever heard in my life. If you guys want me to react to the other ones, wowzers. Comment down below, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support over the past week. It's been absolutely uh, bonkers. See you guys later. Peace out.